sideboard one last time here at the StarCityGames.com Standard Open in Baltimore. Brought to you by Ultimate Guard. I am Nick Miller alongside our new Standard Open champion, Osip Levadovich. Congratulations, friends. Thank you, thank you. Take this trophy here. This Feels is good all to yours. be getting a trophy as opposed to watching from the coverage booth someone else mm -hmm. getting a trophy. <laughs> <laughs> Old time coverage associated here at Star City Games, but now you're out playing, adding yep. an Open Series trophy, your first to the many wins you have in your resume. Yeah, Grand Prix Pro Tour now open. Thank you. Talk about your deck selection this weekend. Uh, Green White Tokens definitely went back up a little bit in the metagame. Of course, Band Company was just towering above everything, but from three copies last week, one in the top eight, one ninth over there in the booth, nine copies this weekend, you were one of them, and you take home the title. Yeah, basically, Bant was so popular last week, I thought it'd be popular again. I also thought that black decks would increase in popularity because, you know, people think black beats Bant for some reason. So, <laughs> um, I really thought green-white would be well positioned just because, one, Evolutionary Leap is just so good in the format right now. It's really good against black decks, and it's surprisingly good against Bant decks as well. Like, you just grind them out if you can get to a point where they're not overwhelming you with tempo. So, I just thought it was a really good choice. That's why I played three Tragic Arrogance and two uh, Evolutionary Leap. Yeah, I was going to ask you about that. The combination of both, the three Tragic Arrogance and the two Evolutionary Leap, you were just able to just outgrind everyone, even these band yeah. decks that just swarm and overtake everyone with incremental value. You just had more of it. Yeah, it's amazing. Um, how good Tragic Arrogance is when you can really control it. I mean, it's a green-white deck, yet it feels like you're just able to generate so much card advantage with all the cards and permanents that you have in play. So, uh, yeah, it's just a really, really good card. I think that people are going to start playing two Evolutionary League main. I mean, we saw that uh, last week. You know, I think Sigurus was playing a couple of main. I, you've definitely seen that before, so it's nothing new. Um, but I think um, people really got to realize how good that card is across so many different matchups. Yeah, I mean, it was just incredible all weekend. Uh, got to touch on it. The one matchup it wasn't great win against the, uh, the Green Blue Crush deck. That was embarrassing. That, <laughs> that, was that an wasn't embarrassing, on camera, yeah. but it was, you, you said, you know, you've been trying to work on a deck that utilizes Zimmercool and things like that, and you were just so impressed with that deck. Guess you got to be a little happy Cranerson took him out in the quarterfinals. Yeah, that was a relief because I think the band matchup for Green White's fine, but I don't think Green White can be green blue crush at all I definitely felt it was the most helpless I ever felt playing against someone um, I really liked his deck I thought it was really great I've been thinking about trying to work some sort of uh, Emrakul deck particularly with Traverse still involved um, and I think he found a really good build as an expert from the booth and on the pro tour do you think that deck can make a splash next week oh yeah I think I, I don't I mean he went he took the deck I think probably like 85% of where it needs to be I think there's some tweaking you could do to the deck still um, but yeah given the amount of mid range is that's out there this week. Um, I definitely think it can be well positioned. Obviously, red decks and white weenie are, are going to be difficult, but those decks just did so poorly. I'm not sure how much you'll see them, but it'll be interesting to see whether or not it makes a splash at the Pro Tour next weekend. Lastly, Green White's back atop the metagame. Of course, it won Pro Tour Shadows over Innistrad when Bant was huge. Bant's been huge the last two weekends. You took down the title. Where's that deck going forward? I, I mean, I, if you look at my deck list, I really am not playing many new cards at all. Um, zero. zero, yeah. <laughs> it's so, uh, again, I, I, we'll see next weekend. I just think the deck is just, there's so much raw power in the deck. Um, Evolutionary and Tragic Arrows are just so overwhelmingly powerful in certain matchups that I think the deck's always going to be decent. Um, I definitely think that there's going to be certain metagames where it's probably not great. So week in and week out, maybe it won't have a great showing, but I definitely think you'll still see a couple of top copies in the top eight. All right, well, the deck looked great. You played it very well all weekend long. You have a trophy. Congratulations. Thank you. Gonna Thank send you. it back to Andy and CVM one last hey, time. Hey, Pat said, see you later. <laughs>